Hi, this is Travis with POSGuys.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the CS60 from Zebra. This is their latest companion scanner and they set it up to really be a multi-function scanner that can be used in a variety of different ways with a variety of different accessories. So when looking at the line of Zebra companion scanners, uh, it's easy to see how it's an upgrade to the CS40. There's the older CS40 and size-wise it's going to be um, very similar and it's going to have kind of a similar button layout. Um, how it differs is that um, there's no contacts on here, so um, there's no ports. So you can't directly plug this in with computer if you're doing a batch scanning mode. In order to transmit batch scans, you have to use either the cradle um, or you have to have a direct Bluetooth connection with the device and then you scan the transmit barcode to send the data. Um, that's a pretty big change from the CS40 where there was a uh, internal storage system and then when you plugged it in to your computer uh, it would then transmit uh, data with um, and you could enable timestamps and things like that and it would it'd show up as like a thumb drive and so you would pull a file off of it. Instead, it's, uh, you would open a text file and automatically uh, set the um, scanner into the base and then it will transmit the data straight into that text file. Uh, you can use either Excel uh, or just a simple notepad application if you As a Bluetooth scanner, so if you're using it as a complimentary scanner for like retail checkout, um, when the base is connected via USB cable to a Windows PC or to uh, an Android tablet via an OTG cable, um, where the cursor is on the screen is where you're going to scan to. Okay, so it's scanning there. Uh, you can enable through either using 123 scan or scanning uh, configuration barcodes either out of the manual for it um, or printing them out um, to send a carriage return automatically or send a tab or any kind of more complex uh, suffixes to a barcode uh, depending on what software you're using if it, if it requires that uh, but out of the box you're gonna scan and it'll just write out the barcode to the screen and so carriage returns or a tab are, are very popular uh, from there uh, in order to pair the device to a cradle you simply have to drop it in when you drop it in as soon as it attempts to charge it it'll pair with that cradle um, or additionally, there is a uh, pairing barcode on the back of it. You scan that barcode and you'll start charging. This is sort of the default cradle. It's the drop-in charging cradle. There's also a little slot here if you wanted to have an extra battery. Um, the battery just removes like so and then you can drop it in and then it'll charge a spare battery for you so that you always have a battery available. Uh, and then you need to connect the battery just snap it in, it takes about three seconds and then it will power up automatically and it'll keep any settings that you had uh, on the device. And there it goes, it powers up. Alternatively, there is a presentation cradle. Um, so this is popular in kind of the medical field. The one we have here, the sample we have here is in medical white. The scanner is also available in white. So with the presentation cradle, uh, it's sort of made to be mounted uh, Kind of up and down like this where the output shows down uh, and then once it has power then the beam appears while it's in the cradle and then you could hear from that beam change that it switched from being paired with this cradle to being this cradle. So anything that comes under the beam will scan. And that's true for one dimensional barcodes, your normal UPC code 128, or if you're doing QR codes, you're doing uh, shipping codes, it, it all scans with the scanner. Uh, it, it's a good two dimensional scanner decent range on it, anywhere from being about uh, two inches back on a normal size barcode out to uh, maybe about two feet on a uh, standard barcode 
in large barcodes will go further back, smaller barcodes you have to be a little bit closer. Uh, but your ranges can be really good and you can scan at any angle. The, it does not have to be aligned with uh, the white light at all. You can just scan however you want. Some other things to note with the drop-in cradle, there's mounting holes on the bottom. So there are different like gooseneck accessories available uh, or you can manufacture something. So you could mount this at different angles um, or have it set up so that it can uh, continuously point like in a certain direction uh, if you're doing some kind of assembly line work or you just want a presentation scanner that all is pointed in the same way. One of the new and uh, kind of highly requested items for a companion scanner is a direct connect cable that enables uh, keyboard wedge scanning. So they created it so it has kind of the same kind of end as the battery and then it snaps in and then you have a tethered USB scanner just like you would uh, like a DS2270 or 2208. It's directly connected and you can just plug that into uh, your computer and there you have a tethered scanner if uh, you know your battery dies. You can also uh, transmit data from the scanner uh, to your computer this way for a batch setup. So similar to how you could plug a cable directly into uh, the older scanners, this is your direct cable. There are some additional additional configurations that you have to set up on the six, CS60 in order to be able to, to do that. Uh, by default, it's going to leave a segment of the memory uh, protected where when you unplug the battery, uh, it'll keep your settings, but it's going to disregard your scans. You have to change the settings on the scanner so that it'll keep the scans and your settings. So that's not set up that way by default. You have to configure that. By default, um, it'll just use the volatile memory where uh, it'll store the scans as long as there's power to the device. When purchasing the CS60, there's a couple different configurations and accessories. The most basic version, if you're gonna be using this with a phone or a tablet and pairing with a Bluetooth connection, is just buying the unit itself with the battery. Uh, then you'll need to pick up one of these charging pads. This is just a generic charging pad. It's not the Zebra branded one or anything. And you just set down the scanner on top of it. Uh, and when the light turns orange, then it starts charging. So that works fairly well. I would say that the dedicated cradle works a little better, uh, but this isn't the cheapest cradle in the world. So um, if you're trying to save some money, you might want to go with the pad instead. Additionally, if you're going to be walking around a lot with the unit, then you might want to opt for the uh, lanyard system. So this includes a silicon cover for the unit, as well as this retractable lanyard. So this goes around your neck, and then there's a retractable cable here, and a little magnet. So you can hang it like this, use the scanner, and then it retracts back in. Uh, and then the scanner just kind of static fits into the case. Like so. And with the case on, you can still charge it with one of the charging pads. Uh, you just set it on it and then it takes maybe 10 seconds and you'll see the blinking orange light indicating that it's charging. One of the new features on the CS60 that is different than the CS40, CS30, uh, or really any of the other companion scanners is they added an NFC capability. So when you're pairing this to an Android uh, device, tap the devices together, and then it'll pair that way. So now we are paired from, instead of the cradle, we're now paired to an Android device directly. So where I scan is where the data gets sent to. When using with iOS, it pairs uh, just like it does previous models. Uh, so you go into your settings, Bluetooth, find the device, pair with it. There are a uh, couple of settings you wanna change. We have a uh, setup guide for a Bluetooth setup. Uh, you wanna enable enhanced features and do HID Bluetooth Classic. When you do that, then it'll work just like uh, having a Bluetooth keyboard. So wherever you scan is where it'll scan to. 
Uh, and then additionally, if you want to bring up the keyboard, you press the minus button and then the keyboard will pop up, pop down. Um, so yeah, it works in iOS as a uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Just wanted to demonstrate the different batch modes. Uh, your normal batch mode uh, is going to be through barcodes. So I'm going to go into standard batch mode. I'm going to start batch mode and then scan the barcodes and then send batch data. And then the data gets sent to the screen. Uh, the new batch mode is cradle connect batch mode. So you still have to enter batch mode. Let's go to standard batch mode again. Cradle connect, enter batch mode, scan the barcodes, and then you drop it in the cradle. And then it gets sent to the screen as soon as it pairs. There's also an out of range batch mode. This is gonna be similar to uh, when um, a triggered scanner goes out of mode. So I go to out of range batch mode. You don't have to scan and enter batch mode. Uh, I'm gonna unplug the cradle to simulate being out of range. Okay, so the scanner lost Bluetooth connection. I'm gonna scan the barcodes. And then I'm gonna plug the scanner back in to signify like when you get back in range. And then when it pairs with the base again, then the data gets sent to the screen. Uh, and then lastly, there's a persistent batch mode. So if we scan that, uh, go to, let's do cradle connect batch mode, enter batch mode. And this is when you're going to go far out of range and then you have the feeling that your scanner might die. So we'll scan, I'm just going to scan this QR code a bunch of times. I'm going to pull the battery, similar to as if the battery just died on it. Uh, and then connect back in. Give it the few seconds to power back up. And then drop it in the cradle. And then there's all the data. Um, so that's kind of the batch simulation. Unlike previous scanners, if you wanted timestamps on the scan, this can do it. This doesn't have a real time clock like the older scanners. Uh, so there's no timestamps, it's just the data. And then um, I programmed it in for a carriage return. That's why every time a line feeds, there's a carriage return. Uh, if you uh, don't set that, then they'd all be on um, a single line with either a tab delimiting them um, or a space or whatever the delimiter is. Size-wise, just to compare it to a few other scanners, uh, this is the 4070 like we showed earlier. You can kind of see it's about the same height, same width, same thickness, but it's rounded so it feels a little smaller. Uh, to another competitive brand, it's a little bit smaller, kind of the same thickness. Uh, another brand very popular in the medical field, you can kind of see how it is much smaller than it. Uh, and then lastly, the 3070. So this is kind of their, well, it's their second companion scanner, but it's bigger than that one. 3070 does not have replaceable batteries and it's a laser scanner. Um, so really it's kind of an apple and orange comparison, um, but you can see that there. Uh, and then the socket scanner. So this is kind of really popular um, for iOS. So it's a little shorter, but a little thicker. Um, so that kind of gives you a size comparison. So overall, the CS60 is an interesting new product. Uh, we really like it. It's, it's really flexible. So, you know, if you want a presentation scanner that you can kind of pick up, then you can get the presentation cradle mounted like so. Uh, for just normal drop-in batch usage, the standard cradle works great. 
on it. Uh, pairing it to uh, mobile devices is really easy to do, either through the tap to pair or through traditional Bluetooth pairing. Uh, you're just gonna wanna put it into uh, keyboard mode, HID keyboard mode, before you try and pair the device. Um, so overall, you know, a lot of flexibility with the scanner. Maybe you're buying a batch scanner today, uh, and then later on you're gonna wanna pair it with your mobile device. Um, or use like direct keyboard entry with the PC. It can kind of do all those things depending on which cable, which cradle you purchase. So a lot of flexibility, which is great. For more information on the CS60 or to purchase, please visit us at POSGuys.com. Thanks.